Hello, welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show, where we'll be discussing leadership, business, and human potential, inspiring you to live rich from the inside out. Unlock your creativity, stretch out of your comfort zone, break through your barriers, take inspired action, and achieve epic results. Now, here's your host, two-time best-selling author, speaker, and certified executive coach, Deborah Kosowski. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show, where we talk about leadership, business, and human potential. And I'm your host, Deborah Kosowski. And today, I want to talk about how scarcity actually creates abundance. There are some business owners wondering why they can't fill their pipeline, and then there's others who work long hours just to keep up with client demands. Businesses run on supply and demand. And when you're providing a service in which you are the one delivering it, it can be taxing. If you are not careful, it can lead to burnout. You only have so many hours in a day. You cannot make time, and time is a commodity. And it's more of a commodity than money. You need to take care of yourself in order to spend time with family and friends and enjoy what matters most. Start by reflecting on the beliefs that you have around money. Do you believe that you must work hard to make money? If you have that belief that you must work hard for money and have stress in your life in order to achieve success, you will end up burning out sooner than later. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Time to think smarter. You can raise your prices and decrease your availability. And thinking about it, when was the last time you raised your prices? What would it feel like to have more time off? Do you realize it is possible to work less and bring in the same amount of money? You do not have to negotiate your value. And that's often what I see business owners doing is that they want to get the sale. They chase the sale, but they don't sit back and thinking about how it's going to impact their time that they have. So really thinking about, is it the negotiating your value that you are learning to settle or tolerate or allow things to happen to you and forgetting that you're in charge of how much you charge for your time. You have an opportunity to create and give greater value even by increasing your prices. One of the clients that I've worked with, they had an increase their prices in over five years, yet many people around them have. They were able to buy their dream home, go on that family vacation, and also have that continuing income that increased by 10%. So thinking about what would that do for you if you were able to take that leap and increase your prices. Often what happens, oh, you're probably saying to yourself is, oh, I'm going to lose clients. With a price increase, you may lose some clients. Chances are they weren't your ideal client or they no longer are. When other clients choose to stay, it's often due to loyalty. And by decreasing your availability, you will be carving out time to pursue your interests and create a better sense of harmony or balance in your life. Go to the gym, take that painting or photography class, go on vacation. To the outside world when you have limited availability, the prospects perceive this as scarcity, someone in high demand and high value. They don't think about the investment as much as the opportunity to work with you. The perception can drive more clients to you which creates abundance. See how when there's a place of scarcity, people think that they have less of you, you have less time available. However, you're still creating high value and delivering on that value to make an impact, which creates abundance of the number of people who will want to work and do business with you. So create that scarcity, creating that abundance. The world is an abundant place. 
and there is 7 billion people. And you can't serve them all. There's enough opportunity for everyone, and there is only one you. The one thing you must ensure is that you continue to provide high value. You will, because you have time to focus on the clients that you currently have, and welcome new clients as your time allows. You are in control of that. Sometimes what happens is people spend so much time prospecting that they don't give the time and attention to their current clients that they deserve. You can increase your prices, you can increase your value, and you can focus on your current clients. You can offer them additional services that they cannot get elsewhere, and those clients who want to continue will, and those who do not open up more opportunities for your ideal client at your increased prices. You are the business owner in charge of your destiny. It does not mean you stop prospecting or marketing your business. What it means is that you up-leveled the way you do business. Perceived scarcity creates abundance. Are you ready to make more money and enjoy that time off and create the lifestyle that you finally want and deserve? I am so excited you enjoy enjoyed this podcast and please go ahead and share it with others. And I would love for you to go over to my website, sign up for our Success Secrets newsletter about upcoming events and courses and workshops that are available to you. You can go to www debrakazowski.com and you'll see it at the end of the slide here. It's www.debrakazowski. I would also love for you to go over to iTunes and give us a five-star high five, write us a review. We would love to continue to hear from you. And don't forget to share this with your family and friends. And above all, I want you to think about, even though you might be increasing your prices, you're not changing the value that you deliver to the marketplace. So go out and be the change you wish to see in the world and make today great. Take care, everyone.